adventure. It is always the adventurers who accomplish great things. A ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. Who never walks save where he sees men's tracks makes no discoveries. A man practices the art of adventure when he breaks the chain of routine and renews his life through reading new books, traveling to new places, making new friends, taking up new hobbies, and adopting new viewpoints. The greatest adventures are experienced in the soul of a man, not across oceans or deserts. Without adventure, civilization is in full decay. I like business because each day is a fresh adventure. If the spirit of business adventure is killed, this country will cease to hold the foremost position in the world. Adversity. Adversity introduces a man to himself. As a rule, adversity reveals genius and prosperity conceals it. Not infrequently do men of promise fail to achieve strong character for want of a great trial. When adversity does come, as it is sure to, they fall all to pieces for want of the fiber that only testing and drudgery can build into them. Gold is tried by fire, brave men by adversity. Adversity does not break men, it makes them. Opposition and failure brings out what is in a man. There is no education like adversity. Adversity makes fools lose religion. Wise men use religion. It is the north wind that made the Viking. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Adversity, if for no other reason, is a benefit since it is sure to bring a season of sober reflection. Men see clearer after such times. Storms purify the atmosphere. He who has not tasted bitter does not know what sweet is. Storms make oaks take deeper root. God will not look over. God will not look you over for medals, degrees, or diplomas, but for scars. The diamond cannot be polished without friction, nor the man perfected without trials. Adversity leads the wise to prosperity. Prosperity is a great teacher. Adversity is greater. Possessions pamper the mind. Privation trains and strengthens it. God strikes not as an enemy to destroy but as a father to correct. Adversity is sometimes hard upon a man, but for one man who can stand prosperity, there are a hundred that will stand adversity. What we call adversity, God calls opportunity.